Okay. Alright, we're alive, yeah? Yeah. Okay, uh, down just a tad. <laughs> Let's get the, get the elephant in the room out of the way. Yeah, I'll do. That's fine. Okay, okay, right. So, hello everybody. I am the BPG13, also known as Viper to my regular viewers. Uh, this is Natty. He's never seen hello. this game before. I have not, no. So, this is basically Destruction Derby 2. This game's actually older than I am. Just to put that in perspective. Yeah, a game that's older than yourself. Hmm. Uh, long story short, there's a lot of smashing, a lot of crashing, and a little tiny bit of racing. So, we're doing the Stock Car Championship, all races. There is three cars, we're using the amateur one. So, if we're ready, here we go. Three, two, one, go. That actually worked. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, so, just to quickly explain how this works. So, there is four divisions, four races apiece, and we have basically got to win all four races. Now, the AI is completely random. Uh, there is some neat little rock music in here for good measure. However, uh, these AI, like I said, are completely random. So, you'll get smashes, you'll get crashes, cars will fly in the air, some cars will roll over. You name it, it probably is going to happen. Now, the first few races are rather easy, uh, mainly because the AI cuts you a bit of slack. But towards the end, we're going to get some really, really bad demo, you know, de demolition destruction, to say the least. Uh, so there's three, like I said, all together, three different cars. And there's the rookie, the amateur, which is the one we're using, and the pro. Now, funnily enough, despite the fact that the pro car is clearly the fastest, um, the pro car is a pain in the ass to handle. So long story short, it skids out really easily. Whereas amateur has pretty decent top speed and handles fairly decently, it has plenty of grip. Now, if this looks fairly simple from me just driving at the moment, but this is because this is like so the first few races, they're fairly easy, so you get through them. But here's the catch. So during the next couple of races also, say hello to Learner Driver, we'll be seeing plenty of him. And uh, I'll explain why he's actually a, a sort of important in a minute. Um, but long story short, like with all the different cars and things like that, the main thing you need to know is Amateur is not, it's not the best car, but it's the one I use because I feel the most comfortable with it. Obviously, if you're a pro, then obviously you can use the pro car. If you're just starting out, best to use the rookie, even though it doesn't have the speed. So we'll have races coming up in the near future. Um, during this run, that stuff like, I think it's Liberty City, which coincidentally, that probably ring a lot of bells for those that have played Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing, except it's not uh, its not an entire city that you can roam around, go around killing people and stuff like that, like you can in Grand Theft Auto. Uh, it is a graveyard, though, because all the cars seem to destroy themselves for some unknown reason. Um, and um, remember how I mentioned before, was like there's a learner driver, he'll come in useful. So, out of all of the drivers, there's a total of 19 drivers, plus yourself, whatever you decide to call yourself. Uh, for the sake of this, obviously, I've just called mine Viper. Makes things as easy as possible just to know who I am. Uh, and the yellow car, like I said, it's yellow with white stripes. I can't remember his actual race car number. But let's just say he's a bit of a drunk person. So the AI decides to randomly just start swerving all over the road, and he starts taking people out. So you can see now we're actually starting to catch up to people. Now, it's, like I said, it's completely random. Every race you do is always completely random. Like, completely random. You never know what you might get. You might end up having a race that the last time you did it, you won. I.e. something that did happen actually in practice, and I'm not expecting it to happen here. Um, but altogether, things happen. So your cars just spin. It's, like I said, it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. This, this race doesn't provide much destruction. However, as like I said, we go through a couple of races in particular, um, you can get wrecked pretty badly. And we actually go into the first person. Oh, hang on, there we go. That's what to do. We go to first person and we retire from the race the moment we cross the line. Probably give it like an extra second or so. And what this does is actually make it a lot easier uh, to actually go from race to race. And also, rather than have an intro sequence like we do at the start of that race, we don't actually need this. So it's a case of we'll actually skip the intro sequence. And we'll just kind of go from there and then just pray that the AI doesn't take each other out. Chalk Canyon is a fun race, uh, just to say the least. Because, simply because of the fact that all the AI, you might, you might have just seen that at the very, very start, there is like a little bottleneck. All the AI seem to want a cramp, so like 20 cars into a little bottleneck. Yeah, that's going to end well, isn't it? So like I said, there's a lot of, um, should we say, polygons <laughs> that get, get shown. 
Um, and altogether, it's not too bad. Also, we've been around from behind. I'm actually going to wait because the AI can't drive. There they go. So that last corner, for some daft reason, so you go over the bump. And uh, once you get over said bump, you then have uh, like a, a minor right-hand side like curve turn, you could say. And all the AI seem to don't want to put the brakes on. So they'll be doing like 300 kilometers. I think they can stop and they just can't, so they end up sliding. Some can actually get themselves under control, but most of the time it's literally just a case of, hey, we're going to do 300 kilometers around a corner. Obviously, you can tell I'm actually putting my brakes on and actually driving sensible. The AI does not have any restrictions on them, so for the most part, we'll do 300, then I'll back off and then slowly get myself around the corner. The AI, like I said, just does not do this whatsoever. So we have to do Chalk Canyon. You'll see this not once, not twice, but three times. Uh, the first race is rather easy when you can get through to everybody, when you get past everybody at the start. The second race, uh, that is fairly interesting, shall we say? But again, completely RNG. And finally, the third race is a lot harder because you're at the very back. And as like I said, there's one race that we do only once, like just one time. Uh, and that race is, if I can remember off the top of my head, it's the Ultimate Destruction Speedway. Now, the Ultimate Destruction Speedway, um, that's got two different routes in that uh, track, and I'll explain them when we get to it. Long story short, there's a long route and a shorter route. If you take the long route, you'll take around 10 to 15 seconds per lap longer. Uh, roughly, I think it is, depending on how bad or how, even, if, even if you're a good driver, I reckon it'll still hamper your lap time severely. The idea is obviously in a racing game to take the shortest route possible. This isn't just about taking the shortest route, this is about survival. So you notice obviously the, the, uh, the category name is Stock Car All Races, and we have to complete all of the races. So if we do retire, say, from one, re one race for, say, we get too badly destroyed or we're completely wrecked, essentially this category can be changed in an instant, so it'll become any races. So yeah, I have to make sure I don't wreck, is basically what I'm trying to say. So it's um, yeah, it's quite a fun game. I only recently picked this up in the, like, the last two months, mainly thanks to two guys, one called Joseph and one guy called Toom. Um, without them, I probably wouldn't be doing speedruns of this, <laughs> or playing it actually for that matter. And just a quick to mention as well, uh, we are playing the North American version of this game, mainly because A, it's 30 FPS, and B, it's fastest speed times help a hell of a lot, and I, I believe the game is in total, as you can see, wrecked cars absolutely everywhere. Uh, we have, I think it's like 10 minutes faster on NTSC compared to the likes of, well, oh, I do not know why, but it is just absolutely crazy. So we have two races down, we've got another two to go, and this is only like the first division. This, uh, this particular track, so I think it's... Super Caparo Raceway or something like that. I can't quite remember the name of the track. But um, it's eight laps long, and the AI is really bad. Like, literally. You can put your brakes on. Just I would say you could do, like, a Sunday drive on this track and never lose, but that would be a complete understatement. Also, don't be surprised for some of the races that you hear, he's way out in front, because, literally, this is, like, the, one of the main parts of the run for me. Um, it is a bit of a tough game to get used to, but honestly, I found this game so much better. And I just want to quickly mention, if you played Destruction Derby 1, but not the second one, highly recommend picking it up. I guarantee you'll actually enjoy it a lot more. Um, I played a bit of the first one, and then picked the second one up and found it to be way better. Now, I didn't play put too much, too many hours, maybe not even an hour into DD1. Uh, and it's not exactly the funniest game in the world either, because the, the, the damage physics are pretty decent for its time, I guess. But it's a 1995 PlayStation game, which is way, not way out of my league, but like the, the late, earliest game I've ever played was 1998. So the fact that this is probably like the, the oldest game i played in terms of the PlayStation stuff. Also, as you can tell, I'm just taking it easy because the AI can just go hand mode. Also, I'm going to become a chicken sandwich. Guess not. Like I said, the best bit is the kind of, it's more or less about timing it. So keeping an eye on the AI, because like I said, the AI patterns are completely random. It's basically about just timing your decisions. So making sure that A, if there is a gap, you're going to have to go for it for whatever reason. And if there is such a bad gap like that, poor guy. Like I said, it's one of them things. You have to be on your toes constantly. Like, he wanted to hit me there. He missed. 
He can keep, he's like, oh, he's going to go for me, he's going to go for me. No, he's not. But then in this next corner, you'll get to the first corner, and guess what? See you later. He's gone. I make it look so easy, but believe me, it's literally just about learning the courses and making sure you can remember some of the AI patterns, because some of the AI do use similar patterns whenever you do the same race. So, like, for example, you might end up going... You'll see them, like, go round, like, I think around a certain corner. Oh, yeah. Another thing to mention, also, is we're coming up near enough to lap third place. Jesus. Um, yeah, so when a car gets wrecked on track, that car then stays there. Say a car flips upside down, he's been severely wrecked. Uh, he will stay there. That car does not despawn, and that's the end of it, really. It is pretty good. And yes, chat, you are completely correct. These are the same guys, the guys that made this, uh, are actually the same guys behind the Driver series. Especially the original Driver games, which were awesome. Funny enough, one of which I've run here. So you can hear the carnage behind. Luckily, we've avoided all that. Uh, now it's literally just a case of making it to the flag. Like I said, the first four races for me are a bit of a breeze. It's when we get to the second set because you start like, say, Chalk Canyon. You don't start that from fifth, you start that from like 10th place. Doesn't sound too bad, but then considering all the AI wants to smash into you, it's like, yeah, you're not going to have a fun time. It is pretty, like I said, it's RNG. Sometimes you get a really good run going, but then sometimes you can get a really bad run going. Like even in practice, I think, I had maybe one or two mistakes, like certain races I got wrecked at. So those races that I did get wrecked at, I'm probably to go play it safe. Just making sure that even if, say, I don't know, I'm sixth or something in a race, and I'm pretty much on my last legs for damage, I'm going to just take it easy. At the very least, anyway. That doesn't necessarily mean I'll make it, but I'm going to just pray, like, I said, just pray that uh, I can actually survive. What are your first thoughts on it, Natty? Any good? Uh, it's it's interesting. I think the f my favorite part about this is that there's no minimap, and yet you can literally see the level rendering in in front of you. Yep. So if you have no idea what the track is, like as a casual player, like you would never have known that corner was there, so you wouldn't have been able to take it properly. It actually gets worse as well because of the fact that there is also no rear view mirror camera, so you can't look behind you. Mm. The only thing you can do is look forward or just change the camera. That's it. Also, that was pretty close. Uh, so, thank you very much. He decided he wanted to crash. So, funnily enough, so I think there's only like a couple of runs done for this game, but we'd highly recommend that if you own a North American PS2 and you don't own this game, get the North American version and try and do a run of it if you're going to do it. Just because, like I said, it's the fastest version. Also, it is the worst driver in the world. We're just going to dodge him. Like I said, the, the learner driver is very scary like even though he might dodge out of the way he's very scary because he can literally just turn in on you for whatever reason and just decide to smash it into you because i don't know maybe something to do with his name so luckily like i said in terms of damage we'll have like cars that get blocked in front of us you can literally just smash it into him if you want like at the moment we've looked after our car pretty good so smashing into other cars in front of us isn't too bad also, there may be like a couple of 180s as well, so we might end up getting spun round. Blame the AI if that happens. Yeah, pretty much. So, like I said, I think there's... I'm trying to think how many races there are. I think there's like eight, maybe ten tracks altogether. Uh, there's actually a destruction derby mode in this game as well. So, we're going to retire from that race after finishing it. And we have been promoted. So, now we're on to the next one. So, Chalk Canyon, round two. This is where it gets tricky. So now we're smack bang in the middle of this lot. So it's like, yeah, we better pray that we're going to survive this. And I somehow escaped all that. Do not know how. RNG's on my side today. Oh no, oh no, 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 I spoke too soon. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. Also, I can't do balance. No! I go, wait, 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 I can still make it. I'm not going to make that. Come on, reverse up. Yes. Oh, crap. Okay. Hi. <laughs> like I said, it's completely random, especially when the AI smashed into Like I said, this is just the main manipulation of this game. It makes the game a hell of a lot more interesting. So I'm going to put my brakes in now. He's probably not. No, he, there he goes. Just to keep an eye on him in front. There we go. Okay, so a couple of cars. <laughs> it's going to grind around the outside. Oh, this is not going to end well. Literally, oh, okay, he decided to slow down. Smart move. 
And I'm gonna go around him. Okay. Like I said, this is where it just gets mega interesting now. So Division One's like, oh yeah, we're just gonna play easy. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. Nice try, mate. You're not taking me out. I don't think so. Just give me a nudge up the back, so that's nice. Like I said, it's literally just kill everything. It's like, yeah, you're the player. Would we'll be shit. Like, here's the thing. I was saying before, like with practice and stuff. It's like. Oh yeah, that's a nice lead you got there. It would be a shame if we were just ruin it. It's happened in the past. Literally just one car can take you out and it's like, yeah, you were third. Guess what? You're now fifth. Also, he's still on his roof. <laughs> do we have time for a donation? We do. We have a $25 donation from Congruence. If I don't win the chair, it won't sit well with me. Great charitable cause. <laughs> oh. Cheering is caring. Sorry, I'll take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Just to remind you guys, we do have a few chairs that are being given away throughout the duration of the event. The minimum donation to be entered for that raffle is $25. So I would encourage you to get that in. <laughs> so like I said, the game's completely random. I'm going to try not to get like wrecked too bad on a lot of the races and also try my very best. Oh dear. Okay, okay. Come on, we still got this. Sorry, red car. Pretty sure the devil's driving that. No, I'm not going in the pit lane. No, okay. There you go. 360 for style. Like I said, when you do get turned around, you can't just like, please, can I just turn around so fast? Like, Initial D would be proud, I think. Like, yeah, screw your sideways drifting. We got 180s here. Oh, dear. And cars on roofs, apparently. Learner driver, please. Take him out, please. Okay, sorry. He stuck himself out. That was nice. That was pretty close, actually. Like I said, he's completely random. He's like the main... I, I actually put him down. I put RNG down to him, actually. We have saying before, it's like, yeah, learn a driver percent. Try and get him to win a race or win every race. That's going to be like the most impossible task ever. Also, nice drift. Come on. All right, okay, I'm third. Nice. Second and first are literally right there, and we've got one lap to go. Oh, this is going to be carnage. Okay. Please... I'm literally like backing off at this point. There's AI right behind me. Okay, okay, right, yeah, you lot, you, you lot go ahead. I'm just gonna catch up. Like I said, the bonkers, these lot. They really are. Oh, learner driver's right. Oh no. Okay, bye bye. <gasps> Neat position. Like I said, it's just completely random. So I, I don't go into these races expecting it. I just know where they're gonna fail. Also, didn't expect that. No, okay, we're going over. We're going over. Still going, okay. I'm upside down. And of course, we're going to try and finish the stage backwards. Yeah, we can, because we can do that. Okay, that's the first time you've ever seen a, a car backwards at 300 kilometers an hour. Only in this game is this possible. So you, okay. don't, so you don't need to actually win races, you just have Not to... Not quite. It, it does help to win, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so literally, like, yeah, we were ninth, we're now first. That's literally dead easy, because for some like, for some strange reason, all the AI go to the left-hand side. And remember how I said before, that chunk canyon race we've just done, how much carnage we've got? You're in for a treat, because it's going to happen again. We've got that race again. Uh, Liberty City is the main one that I want to show off, because it's quite dark and you can't see where you're going, like the render distance really slows down. So I think it's maybe you can see, I don't know, five feet in front of you or something like that. So trying to see and then seeing like 10 flaming wrecks come straight at you, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to win this. I'm not even going to survive, let alone win. But it is, it, like I said, the main thing about this is A, to try and survive and B, as whole hell, which is the main thing in any speed game. Also, thank you, learner driver. He's been nice today, isn't he? But yeah, it's mainly just about being fast. It's the same with any speed game, to be honest. But it's for me, it's like, oh, okay. Extreme 360 there, Jesus. Like I say, Caprio, or whatever it is, Castle, Capri I can't quite remember the name of the circuit, but it's very nice to drive on because, like I said, the AI do so bad. And we do so well. Also, five cars into one corner, and I, didn't, I did get hit, this is fine. And I got a bit of a nudge, that was a nice friendly nudge. Now I just need to make sure I don't get hit on the corner here. I got hit, that was lucky. And again. Okay, I don't have a clue, like the problem is where the fact that it's like second, third of here somewhere. Also, what is he doing? Yeah, thanks mate, cheers. 
Sun's crying, nice one, cheers. What else we got? I think we should be okay. Like I said, second and third, I have no idea where they are. Because, like I said, we've no rear view button, we've no rear view mirror, we can't, well, why would you need one? It's a destruction car. Also, learner driver, yes! No! Okay, reverse, sack it, I'm going to do it backwards. So you're not actually slower going backwards, or no, is it? No, this is the thing. Oh, okay. He's got 53 on his side. Herbie, come back! Never mind. <laughs> so it's like, it's, and you, it's like people wondered what happened to Herbie after Herbie fully loaded. He went destruction racing. It's like, sod the beetle, I'm getting a destruction car. Yeah. I've no idea what these cars are supposed to be, to be honest. Just American sedans? Crappy ones, I guess? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Also, we gotta win! Yes! Okay, what's the next race? I will try and win as many as I can, I promise. <laughs> okay, so at the start of this race, it's kind of crucial that we go to the right without getting taken out. Like that. <laughs> Mainly because this happens. Okay, second and first are literally right there. Second's taking himself out, now we just got to take the leader. Easier than it looks, he says. Yeah, I was, like, I was gonna say, just watch this. Bang, I get taken out. It's easier than it looks, people tell us. Destruction Derby 2, the easiest game in the world. So, does this game have any sort of like rubber banding? Like, if you do really well with the AI? Uh, no, right not either. really. If you drive really well and the AI drives really badly, you can dominate them, like, even lap them. Mm, but so, no, <laughs> pretty but much. <laughs> But if you saw they get taken out really early, does that make it almost um, impossible to win? It depends, really. Like, you can look like the chips are down, so like you could be 20th and dead last. Mm -hmm. But then, say, oh, I don't know, because all the cars in front of you are obviously going to start destroying one another when you're not in the middle of it. If you can just start threading your way through, there's a chance you could get, say, third place or even win. Like, the worst, the worst race for me is the first one we did. I think it's Pine Hills Raceway or something. But we have to do that race twice. The first time we do it is in, I think it's Division 3. It works, it's weird because it works backwards. So it's like Division 1 for me is actually Division 4. So it's like Division 4, 3, 2, and then 1, 1 being the fastest. So that right now we're on Division 3. When we get to start of Division 2, we have to do the loop race again. So one that we did, looks like a NASCAR circuit um, with like 10 laps. That is the worst race, I think. Mainly because of the fact that when you're not starting at the front, it's like, good luck trying to even get close to the top 10. Because the AI just seems to be really good around that track, and I am no good. I don't know why. As long as I'm scoring decent points, I'm not too bothered. But it's at the end of the day, it's all about scoring most points. And for me, it's, going, it's pretty much win as many races as possible. If you can't, then come second or third, I'll just do pretty decent. Like I said, Liberty City is the main one. So learn a driver. He, we're going to see a lot of him just being lapped, unfortunately. But then there's times where he comes in useful. I actually haven't, I think like I mentioned him before, but going back to your question, like I said, you could be 20 in the last. The learner driver, fully enough, could actually help you out. Like he could take like four cars out in front of you. You don't have to tell him, obviously, because it's AI and they just do whatever they want. Well, they could do that and you could still win. It's happened in the past where it's just like, yeah, I'm not winning this. I'm fourth and I'm miles, a la miles away. And then all of a sudden it'll be like, hey, learner driver, fancy helping me out? You'll just take three cars out. It's like straight through into the lead, right on the very last lap. It's like, yeah, thanks. thanks. Okay, cool. Literally, it's just kind of like stopping. Oh, yeah, there is other game modes. I should probably mention this, but there is actually other game modes. So you've got stock car, there's wrecking racing. So it's the same laps as what you get in stock car. However, it's more, more or less to do with the points. Also, I'm going to back off because this is going to be brilliant. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Also, it's not over yet. They, they've actually took the slow route, so now there's a crossover point. Because somebody thought this was a good <laughs> idea. And we've just not managed to avoid all that somehow. Okay, uh, learner driver's in second. How has he got there? I do not know. And they say, it's like... Reminds me of going back to Bloody Sims that runs like, and people say I'm slow. Wait a minute, that was an insult. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, that was a 360. Ooh, recovered, recovered. The recovery. Okay, did he take the fast route or the short route? He took the short route, okay. Oh, no, sorry, he took the long route, that's it. He took the scenic route. <laughs> nice. 
And he also decided to take himself out and nearly wiped me out. Okay. It's like, take two. Let's try that again. Let's just try and catch him up again. Hopefully it just takes himself out. Because AI does do that. It's, it's AI, so it's bound to happen. Oh, he's got Learn to Drive in front of him. Yeah, so it's mainly literally when you come when it comes to you can get past all the other cars, but then it, it when it comes to getting past other cars in particular, it might not be the same experience. It's like, is it gonna go right and you'll go all the way to the left and he'll still try and take you out? Like I said, they get more aggressive the more you go. So like right now it looks like yeah, okay, I'm sort of blitzing the field, you could say. I'm I'm winning the races. But then we get to like I said, we get to division two and division one, and then the AI gets turned up to eleven. It's like, yeah, you're not winning any more races, mate. But, like I said, you have that, uh, what's it called, CCR, I think it is, the something Caprio Raceway or something like that. So it, it's one of them things, it's not like you can't win races, you can still win races. And if I remember rightly, timers... Hey, I see my emote in chat, nice. I remember, that took a, that was a pain in the ass to call that emote out as well. <laughs> Nice, power slide. Okay, cool. I think we've done with Division 3 for now. That means we've got promoted. I think it is, anyway. Let's see where we got up to. What are we up to? 25 minutes, not bad. Yep. Okay, here's the here's the really bad race. I hate this race so much. 15th, okay. I'm going to actually try and race against the AI. Hopefully, they don't wipe me out. And hopefully, I get lucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, 14th, I'll take that. 13th, yes. If I can get anywhere near the top 10, then this is going to be pretty good. Okay, no, I'm, I'm getting taken out. Like, so this is probably the one race where we'll actually do really badly. Unless all the AI takes each other out, then in which case we might not do too bad. But, yeah, not that's not going to happen. We might be able to get a couple of the AI. Like I said, it's completely random, and we've got Learner Driver as well to worry about. He's obviously a right pain. Okay, that guy's on his side. Literally, there's just bits of carbon fiber anywhere. Everywhere you look, just... Yeah, carbon fiber, more carbon fiber. I say carbon fiber, it's not F1. It's demolition <laughs> diver, this is metal. Probably a hugely dangerous sport. Like, the cars cost little to no value. Okay, okay. No, don't push me in the pit lane! Okay, right, okay. We're not going in the pit lane. No, I'm actually going to get out of the pit lane. <laughs> okay, apparently not you're getting gonna, out of the pit lane. Try and get out of the pit lane. Okay, maybe. okay. There we go. Like I said, doing well in this race is not easy. <gasps> Learn to drive's got in front. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> no. It's like, how about no? Like I said, it's pretty bad this race. Pretty bad. Even you have like the commentator, for example, even he's like, whoa! And obviously, like, no. Just scrape the paintwork. It's like, go easy on the paintwork. It's like, it's a car, mate. Do you think I'm gonna care? It's, it's Destruction Derby, mate. Of course we're not going to bring this car back in pristine condition. It's a demolition derby car, are you mad? Literally now it's just a race for... It's 15th place! I need every point counts. They say every little helps. Well, in this case, it's every point helps. Come on. It's Herbie again. I don't like this Herbie guy. I don't actually know what he's called, to be honest. They all have, like, different names. You've got, like, The Undertaker or The Underminer or something. I know The Undertaker's from WWE, but he's probably in here somewhere. Okay, I can still probably catch a couple of guys up. Like I said, if there's like a massive smash now, we could actually essentially just walk all the way, like not walk, but you know, like thread the needle. But it's not exactly easy to do in this game, especially this try, like holy cow. We are catching the cars in front though, and we've got a couple of laps to go, so this is going to be good. Also, the two guys to the left hand side of the pit lane, it's like, yeah, I'm just like, hey, how's it hanging? I'm just, I'm just here sideways, you know. Don't worry about me. I'm, I'm gonna be fine. Even if a car hits me at 200 kilometers an hour, I should be fine. So don't hit me, please. Don't hit me. Oh, okay. There's another car upside down. This is looking decent. So if I catch him, that's 11th. So we've got like another position to make up to get top 10. It's not like we don't. If we finish 12th, it's like game over. It's not like that. So. Nice try, learner driver. Nice try. 
Oh, he's right on the racing line as well. There's another car as well. This is looking taster. Okay. Come on, smash into each other. Just, just crash out, please. Please. I beg you. Smash into each other. We might actually get a smash here. Here we go. No? We're not going to get a smash? No, okay. Come on, at the line, at the line, at the line. Yes. <laughs> we got him at the line. Tenth place. Just. Like I feel like, it's like I win a race. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, this race, okay. Does my strategy work? Probably not. Just gonna take the inside line. Okay, maybe not. Okay. 20 cars and a tunnel. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I came out of that fourth unscathed. How? I don't know. RNG gods, I guess. Look at they trying to drift around that corner. Like I said, they're trying to do like 250 kilometers. They're trying, rather than slow down, rather than apply the brakes, the air goes, brakes? What's those? You just go, nah, I can take this corner, mate. You watch. Literally, the guy in front will probably smash into something. Not me, if I can help it. Like, he, they go super wide at that first corner. You can just take such an easy inside line. It's ridiculous. So, funnily enough, this is actually where we can catch first and second up. So, we've got, like, what, a tenth place already? So, I don't know. Another wet race win wouldn't go amiss, I think. The first and second, I think, is coming up. I could be wrong. I don't know where they are. They're, they're up here somewhere. We'll see them pop up in a minute. Like I said, the AI is really bad at driving, so they'll often like smash into a wall. It's like, yeah, this was a really good idea. There we go. Oh, damn it, I wasn't supposed to give him a hand. I was supposed to get past him. <laughs> Never mind. Where's first? Okay, he's only there. We've got two laps, we can do this. It's literally just about playing catch up now. It's like, yeah, we can just catch this guy. Like I said, predicting patterns, that's the main one. So, first looks like he's struggling. Now's my moment. No, learn the driver. That's what's, this is what stands between... Oh, okay, he's dealt with him. He's dealt with himself. It's like, this is what stands between me in the first place. One learner driver, two cars. Ah, oh, I'm going to say I could have spun him then. So, this corner in particular, you go over the bridge, and then when you go on the right-hand side, I actually apply my brakes all off the accelerator. Just so I can actually make the corner. The AI is like, nah. They can somehow make that corner at 300 kilometers. <laughs> I don't know why. So we're in the lead. Which is good. We've got last lap. All I need to do now is not hit anything. That's it. Literally, this is it now. It can still go mess up because we have got a car in front of us. And obviously, I can still rank the car. So there's that. But yeah, this needs to, I just need to hope. Just need to hope that he doesn't actually hit me. All right, okay. Can I? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that was not what I wanted to see. It's like a graveyard there. Three cars in one corner. Damn. And yeah, okay. We got a race win. Nice. So tenth place race win. That's probably like 100, 110 points. Black Sail Valley. Okay, we did this race before. We're fifteenth. I'm actually gonna let again, like I did last time. Let's just let the AI, I'm gonna let the AI go. I only do this for one reason, just to watch this. I mean, there's a there's a few cars in here somewhere. Oh, so we've we've actually helped him there. It's like flip over, do a barrel roll. Okay, just flip over, that'll work. I don't know this again. Oh. Okay. Uh, ten cars in one go. Somehow, I, I'm guessing there was a pile up on the other corner. That actually went surprisingly well for that card. I was expecting to us. 20th to 3rd, one lap. Literally, like I said, that's all it takes. You just literally thread the needle also. Learner drivers upside down. That's a shame. I feel like nudging back, though, is the right way up. Good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> God, the room just got tense. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the most tense speed game. That I've, I've ever had to watch. Literally, it's, <laughs> it's a case of. Like I said, this is kind of the, one of the reasons I. Oh, okay, I went through that guy somehow. Yeah, every now and again, the game actually fails to pick up uh, collision detection, so you just warp through a car. 
if that happens, if that does happen, you just need to pray and hope that it will be there's like eight cars in front of you and that you can actually get through them like no problem like there's eight cars it's like i'm so screwed but then you get you could actually get the collision detection and it's like yeah there you go you can somehow still win so coming up next after this race is liberty city this is like so this is what i like to call the graveyard um like i said it's pitch black um it's a not a very nice course to drive but on like a couple of particular occasions we have had times where one of our players has actually gone into said graveyard and what they've ended up doing also <laughs> holy cow okay i didn't expect that um so we've like gone he's gone into um we've gone straight into this liberty city and then every like every other co corner there's like a car on fire or several so I'm hoping we get the same here. Again, even if we're like start, I don't know, seventh, we still just drop right back. Okay. As I nearly forgot then to actually retire and also to go into first person. Okay, so this is Liberty City, the world's premier street raceway. Uh, where are we? 15th. No, it isn't. But it looks like it is. Okay, here we go. So you can see what I mean. The draw distance is absolutely awful. And... Yeah. And we're up to third already. Just. Oh, off-road as well. Isn't, yeah, <laughs> off-road section as well. So the AI tends to take themselves out. This is like the main, in my opinion, the main test of Demolition Derby 2. Because it's like, you need to be on your wits now. So like, he's just spun himself out. There's a car upside down there. It's not too bad, actually. We're doing alright. This is pretty lucky. I usually try and break a bit earlier there if I can. Uh, and the AI actually likes them to take themselves out, as you saw. Hopefully we can actually get lucky here. Okay. Someone spin out, please. Some spin him out, please. If I'm lucky, it'll be a case of getting him. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got him. Just about, but we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh no. Look who's coming up, guys. It's Learner Driver, he's back! And he's obviously just decided <laughs> to push a car forward, so... Nice, okay. Okay, the few cars here that are wrecked. There's a, probably going to be a few here. Yeah, there's, there's a few. Okay, now it's starting to become a graveyard. So i got three laps to do this now, and I now have to literally survive. Uh, Learner Driver is stuck. That's good, because he will just cause more and more carnage. There's two cars there, so now we need to figure out like where everybody's up to. So let's give him a helping hand. Okay, here's the graveyard part now. So now we're actually getting cars completely blocking the raceway. So now I need to like be on my toes here. Okay, then three cars are staying there. I don't think they're moving unless learner drivers somehow escape. So at which point, everybody run! Okay, this corner here. There was a few cars before. Yeah, they're still there. Like I said, they don't despawn. This is, by hands down, the worst bit. The fact the cars do not despawn whatsoever. Okay, cool. Last lap. We're gonna actually. So we're gonna win Liberty City. That's gonna be. This is fantastic. So we're definitely going to Division One. Um, we do actually need to win Division One to complete the run. Okay, cool. Right, Chalk Canyon. Here we go. Last the last time, and this is like I said. Now we've got pure carnage. We're at the back. Last place as well. Not the last race, but here no, we go. Last, last place. Yeah. yeah. Right at the back. Here we go. Okay, 18. Yeah, there goes the guy. He's he's up and he's down again. The worst thing is we're not even done yet. Okay, 16. It's literally just about how many cars can you pick off in this first lap without getting wrecked yourself. Okay, uh, that might be bad. That's not too bad. As a car comes at me from 200 kilometers from behind. No, he didn't. Okay, that's cool. Good, good. There's like a good chance that we could win this race though, because it, it looks like an absolute nightmare. But then considering the AI is pure crap, especially this part <laughs> here, you can just tell like how bad they are. Yeah, I'm just going to push past this guy. Uh, no, I'm not actually going to be sensible. No, I'm not going to be sensible. 
Okay. Is there a car behind me? No. Yes? No? Okay, there's definitely a car behind me. I can't see him, though. Again, no rear view mirrors, no rear view button. I don't know where he is. I can just hear a car behind. We should be okay. I can probably survive. Like I said, the pro car is faster, so essentially we would never have a problem with the AI in a straight line. But because the pro car just doesn't go very fast, oh, so there he goes. It's like, look, I believe I can fly. Okay, uh, take him on the inside, yes. Okay. No, okay, yeah, you can slow down. <laughs> just back him up, why not? Ooh. Okay, he squeezed past, that's fine. And he's put himself on the wall. Like I said, the AI is ridiculous. Because like I said, they go over that bump at God knows how fast. I can never put my foot down and go really fast over that bump. The AI can though, because the AI is supposedly invincible by the looks of it. So I'm like, I'm just like taking it easy. And I'm like, yeah, now I can, now I can do like 300 kilometers. Slow right down. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, they're driving now! Come on, go, go, go. Okay, third is still within our reach. Oh, we've got two laps. We can do this. Unless there's a massive traffic jam here. Also, it didn't happen what I was expecting to happen. So, in my practice run, that entire bottleneck got completely filled with cars, and I had to retire because I couldn't get through. <laughs> it was blocked with, like, eight or ten cars or something ridiculous like that. I was like, yeah, I am... I am not winning this race. I'm just going to have to retire. I still came fifth, though, despite retiring. I suppose it's just because all the cars wrecking each other. It's, it's funny. It's pretty good. Okay. Like I said, nice grind on the wall. Should be fine. <clears throat> okay. Yes, this is looking good. Ooh. No, hang on. Oh, come on. Oh, so take each other out. Take him, take him, take him. I'm just going to watch. Without losing control of my car. Bear in mind, this is the top three right here. One mistake and it's all over. That's why I just sit and watch. Did he land on him then? I think he does. Okay, it's all down to the last car and I have to pray I don't screw this up. The jump should be fine, I think. Yeah, jump should be fine. Yes! We got him right on the last lap. Okay, we started Division 1 with a win. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. This is a good start. And we're back to the graveyard again, straight away. Round 2, anybody? And we're at the back again. Carnage, let's go. Should be called Carnage City. It's pretty Liberty City, wow. Carnage City. Okay, left hand side seems like a safer option. Yes. It was a safer option, 20th to 4th. Nice. Okay, second. Can I get first in the lap? Nah. Would be nice if I could. Oh, yeah. Uh, the AI race much more harder here. Is there any cars in front? Yes, there's one upside down there, that's fine. Back in the car came up then. Okay. I'm just, this is the thing, you need to observe the movements and just pray that you can take them when they're at the most vulnerable moment. I just pray that he hits somebody. If he hits somebody, brilliant. If he doesn't, well, it doesn't matter anyway. It's fine. Okay, yeah. We're getting into the This is the way it becomes <laughs> literally the graveyard now. So, okay. Thanks. I can imagine you can snowball really hard sometimes as well. If you, like, make one mistake and then, yeah, yeah you're going to keep hitting you. Pretty much, yeah. pretty much. But Liberty City by like hands down is a tough track. It's literally it's just nail. To, like you have to really scrap tooth and nail with everybody else to try and win. It's like somehow the guy that's in the lead right now, he's in the lead for whatever reason. I don't know why. Also, thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Get my words right. Huh? Still third. Fourth, fifth. Okay. But he's going to hit them. Okay, maybe not. Yes, we got past them. The thing is, though, is when you get a load of cars wrecked on track, this usually means one thing. 
it's easy to take the lead. If the AI screws up and you don't, you can just take the lead like click your fingers. Especially when they go wise. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna go over here. What's the worst that can happen? Two seconds later, there's second place, there's the lead. Oh, so that was pretty close. I'm not gonna take the lead, surely. Can I take the lead in the last lap? Nah. Third place is good enough. No, it, no, oh. it's just the lead. <laughs> it's the lead, all right. Oh, okay. Oh. Poor bloke, upside down. Help. Nice. <laughs> Two wins, division one, pretty good. Black Cell Valley, okay, remember what happened with this one, don't we? We all know, we've been there now, we've done this. And we're at the back again, okay, cool. We're actually not doing too bad here. I think, yeah, this could be sub 50 actually. Maybe, if it is, then, like this is the first sub 50, I think. Or so. Uh, <laughs> okay, a couple of cars wrecked. Ooh, right, okay. Gonna, we're gonna join this lot now, here we go. Right, up to fourth. End of lap one. We're up to fourth. This is a good start. He also, he's still upside down. Poor bloke. Oh, okay. He's in the way. Oh! <laughs> we're holding on here. We're holding on. It's all right, because this game happens a lot. Hang on. Reversing it. We're doing this. Literally, look at the speed. Yeah, this is <laughs> legit. That's a oh, 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 come on, come on! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, okay, hello. He's <laughs> just like, please flip over. Okay, cool. So we're only eighth. This is okay. It's fine. Like I said, I just need to take it easy. <laughs> Like I said, it's just carnage. It really is. It's been, honestly the last over like the last two years that I've been doing speedruns. This hands down is probably the most exciting one I've ever done, just because of how random it is. Also, that's the because free third place. Nice. Where's the leaders? That's what we want. There. Uh, yeah, literally right there. Okay, it's the last lap. We've done it two races in a row. Can we do it on this one, please? Missed him, just. Oh! oh. Way! Okay, he took himself out. Yeah, last lap. We've done it again. Come on. Until I get to the line. There you go. Nice. Woo! Right, okay. Last one. Ultimate Destruction Speedway. This is the one and only time we get to see it. Now, remember at the start of this run, I said, <laughs> going back like 45 minutes ago now, uh, there's two different routes. Now, you have a simple route and an act like a long route. Also, let's go push him over. So, they're mostly taking the scenic route. We can just take the easy route. Hang on, I'm in here somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm in here somewhere. I was in there. Stop pushing me, come on. There we go. Dude, I know I flipped over. I need, I need to have a reset. Okay, so now literally this is just about getting to the end. I just need to survive and hope that I make this to the end. I should be able to, no problem. It looks like you have to take a lot of damage for your car to be totaled, boy. Yeah, but it's easier said than done, like when you have all them cars right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, take him out. There you go. Oh, oh crap. Was that not the... No, that's the learner driver. Oh, it was... I was thinking it was somebody else. Oh, no, he's taking us both out. Okay. I'm just going to go past him. Thanks. He's just like wrecking him. Like, yeah, you can get right to me. You can stay there. Okay, so time will actually stop. Not when I cross the line, but when we see the screen that says winner. Just so that we know we've definitely won. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do this in one minute. That would be pretty good if I could. 50 points something would be nice. 
It's that poor guy upside down. Also, how many cars is there here? There is, oh, quite a few. Okay, yeah, so there's also this massive jump. So you'll notice like some of the AI actually go around. When they take the right hand side, they go flying over at the start of the next lap. Because they took the wrong route. We took the fun. We took the best one. Ooh -hoo. Okay, that was a tight squeeze. Right. My front right's looking pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. It's going really red. If it goes black, that means it's pretty much like, yeah, race over. So I just need to survive like one lap. So oh. any, any part of the car, once that goes black on the thing, and that's it? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Okay, that was close, I actually made that. Even finishing 12th, I think we should win this. So we picked up a free place like who's upside down there. So. Go, 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 go. Right, okay, across the line. And now we just wait. Mm. Ah. <laughs> yeah, 309, 620. Nice. Nice. And then end sequence, which is literally the end game. That's that's like literally the end game. And it's not much. There's a bit of music, not too much. There is like I said, there is two other game modes: wrecking racing and literally just destruction derby. But the destruction, the demolition derby. Sorry, the demolition derby is literally just 20 cars in a ring smashing each other, and that's it. There's no like end game for that. Uh, and then the like I said, the wrecking racing is basically you get points for giving 180s, 360s, all that sort of stuff, like completely smashing people to bits. Um, the idea of that is actually just smashing to people, and then the all races obviously is just a championship. But yeah, all done.